Can you believe it? At the age of 30, this Chinese girl won the World Class Science and Technology Award that only three people in the world have won, becoming the only winner in Asia. At the same time, she also broke the monopoly of Western countries in the chip field and made significant contributions to the development of Chinese chips. In addition, she has published more than 70 papers in top international academic journals, obtained more than 40 invention patents in China and more than 10 invention patents abroad. Well, her achievements are dazzling and stunned. Unexpectedly, when I checked her resume, I found that she had no previous experience of studying abroad, and was a top scientist who grew up in China. She is China's chip prodigy, Huang Qianqian. At the same time, because of her beautiful appearance, many people also call her the chip goddess of China. After the talented girl graduated from Peking University, many well-known foreign universities and enterprises have invited her to join in their research camp. But instead of going abroad to study like most of her classmates, she chose to stay in China to continue her PhD. Her decision made many people puzzled. After all, Peking University is known as the preparatory class for studying abroad. Almost every year, more than 90% of Peking University students choose to study abroad and then stay there to work and immigrate, and less than 30% would come back. But obviously, Huang Qianqian was not affected by it and insisted on her decision. Why did Huang make such a decision? How did she become the world's top talent at such a young age? And how did she later save the Huawei crisis? Hi! Welcome to Tech Teller. Before we start today's video, please subscribe to our channel, which is the encouragement that we can create more videos. Okay, let's move on to today's topic. In 1989, Huang Qianqian was born into an ordinary family in Shangrao, Jiangxi Province, China. Although the parents belong to the ordinary working class, they have never neglected a good education for their daughters. In 2006, she was admitted to Peking University majoring in microelectronics with a high score. It was also during the period of studying here that the idea of in-depth research in the field of chips was born. Her diligent and self-improvement character from a young age coupled with her love of learning made her stand out among her classmates quickly during her studies at Peking University. Soon, she joined the research group of academician Huang Ayu and devoted herself to the research of ultra-low power micro-nano-electronic devices. At the age of 22, she published an academic paper in IEDM as the first author. I think you must know IEDM, International Electron Devices Meeting, and it enjoys the highest academic status in the international semiconductor technology industry and someone called it the Olympic event in the field of microelectronic devices, and its average paper collection rate is only 15%. If the paper can be published on it, which means that it will have a major impact and breakthrough in the field of global integrated circuit technology. It is also her who has refreshed the minimum age for authors of IEDM papers in China. This young Chinese female scientist shocked the world. Later, she published more than 50 world-class papers on several world-class academic platforms, and this achievement has been achieved less than 10 years. In addition, in IEDM, it was published in five papers as the first author, and the record of scientists in mainland China was refreshed again. Again, she shocked the whole world. In 2015, Huang Qianqian graduated from Peking University with a master's degree. In 2017, she was selected for the list of China's Future Women Scientists program. That year, only four people were selected nationwide. Later, she also returned to her alma mater and became a young doctoral supervisor. She was only 28 years old that year. In 2019, Wang was selected into the Forbes Elite list and received the IEEE Youth Achievement Award. This year, she was only 30 years old. In other words, Wang Qianqian stood at the top of the pyramid among young Chinese people. So, what made Wang Qianqian choose to stay in China from beginning to end? In 2019, in order to suppress China's scientific and technological progress. The United States has spared no effort to impose sanctions on China's advanced technology companies such as Huawei, ZTE, and SMIC. It wants to completely destroy China's chip companies. 
In order to break the U.S. blockade of Chinese high-tech, the Chinese government has launched a multi-trillion yuan chip support policy. Of course, China's chip industry is not only lacking funds at this time, but more importantly, talents. Faced with difficulties, Huawei once proposed a genius plan with a high salary of 2 million. Because Huawei founder Ren Jingfei once said that on the road to chips, what China lacks is not equipment, but talents. Huawei's most valuable asset is Huawei's 1,400 scientists and hundreds of thousands of employees. Wang Jianqian researches on ultra-microelectronic devices and their logic circuits in the post more era, that is, the direction of microelectronics solid-state electronics, which is what we usually call chips. She is exactly the genius Ren Jingfei wanted. At that time, Huawei's situation was very difficult, and Huang Qianqian took the initiative to join Huawei's high silicon company to develop chips. So, what has she achieved during her career at Huawei? Although the chip is small and inconspicuous, it is the brain of electronic products. While improving the performance of the chip, the size of the chip device should also be reduced. Wang Qianqian and SMIC jointly developed the world's only integrated technology for recording chip devices. This technology can precisely control the position and size of each part on the chip, allowing researchers to locate them reasonably and effectively after knowing the number of parts, which greatly reduces the workload. This integrated technology has reached the highest level of similar products in the international market in terms of comprehensive performance. In June 2021, Huawei's chip research achieved a major breakthrough. Using Huang Qianqian's patent, Huawei adopted a dual-chip stacking method to directly turn two 14-nanometer chips into a chip with a diameter of about 7 nanometers. This process does not require a lithography machine at all. In addition, she successfully developed a new mechanism for ultra-low-power devices. This invention not only breaks the swing record of silicon-based tunneling devices, but also far exceeds the performance of similar devices at home and abroad. Now, Wang Qianqian is the mother of a two-year-old child. In addition to taking care of her children, she has not stopped on the road of scientific research. She is still preparing new papers and researching the future progress of Chinese chips. Wang Qianqian is still active in the research and development career she loves. We expect her to make more achievements and make positive contributions to China breaking the Western monopoly on chips. To this day, China has not broken the blockade and monopoly of the West on China in the chip industry, but the emergence of outstanding young Chinese scientists such as Huang has given the hope. It is their tireless efforts that have led to the rapid development of China's chip field. Huang Jianqian has said, science has no borders, but scientists have a motherland in their hearts. Okay, the above is the story of the Chinese chip goddess, what do you think about it? Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below and share your insightful ideas. Please keep following our channel and like our videos. I am Tech Teller, the person to tell you the opinions that worth spreading every day. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. See you.